Hello friends, good evening, this is G.B. Shivakumar again and uh, so uh, thanks for watching my videos, thanks for uh, supporting me for these days and uh, so without your support I cannot uh, I mean, uh, able to uh, prepare this kind of videos. So thanks for uh, the uh, I mean, uh, kind support. So actually today actually I mean, many, I mean, many people ask me actually so uh, can you please uh, share some more detail on uh, the syllabus of uh, computer science business system the opportunities and which colleges so whether it is available in the government college or how much salary i will get so uh, scope future career so which sectors can able to uh, can i get what is the, uh, what is the opportunity in overseas so all these things actually they are asking me so uh, so definitely i mean i will prepare uh, the i mean i i told them that actually i will prepare the course so um, i tried to get uh, the course details on uh, computer science and business systems so it is a combination of uh, say i can say theory courses theory and lab courses and lab alone courses and then uh, job related i mean i can say uh, <coughs> it is a, a kind of actually uh, we can say uh, employability and enhancement related courses so they have divided uh, and then evaluation project related analysis so all the all these things actually they have segregated and how this is created this engineering department came into existence because tcs has did a tie, a tie up with the many i mean educational uh, I can say may specialist and many uh, institutions actually they design the course in such a way their employer employ I mean employees can learn all these things uh, on the I mean normal computer science engineering in addition to management topics say finance procurement sales and uh, say I can say humanities uh, management sciences, sciences and uh, human values and uh, in uh, i mean i can say in addition to the computer science network a uh, computer science engineering and also they can this csbs students can learn uh, anal analytics machine learning iot blockchain and then actually uh, cloud computing all these things they are learning and in addition to that actually they can learn actually normal computer science kind of thing c c++ java python dot net all these things okay and so uh, important thing is actually in this uh, csbs they are learning humanities management sciences and human values in addition to the cse so this will help them to may become a manager in the organization or actually they can able to i mean become a lead in the any industry so uh, say uh, fee structure will be actually uh i can say um, in the i mean in go, uh, fee structure normally in ta, say normally this course is available only in government aided colleges like tyagaraja college of engineering and all and they are those who got a merit seat will they need to pay 1 lakh around 1 lakh or something like that and uh, in, if you are coming to self financing colleges if you tire one then actually we have 1 to 2 lakhs and then tier 2 means actually less than that so in this is just actually i'm telling the free seat okay merit seat so management seat actually in case of uh, uh, self financing colleges right actually so it depends on the management decision even 10 lakhs or 8, 8 to 10 lakhs or something like that actually i'm not sure in that but this course i mean computer science and business systems actually this course is not available in government colleges and it, this was introduced before 2 years only and this is available in uh, government aided uh, i mean that is uh, tyagaraja uh, uh, engineering college madurai right like that and they are having a self support course kind of thing so in self financing colleges they are having uh, i mean they are having this courses and actually i mean normally i won't uh, recommend any pri i mean actually the private uh, related institutions or organization because the if i recommend then i will be a kind of actually uh, uh, a kind of uh, branding or i am doing advertisement kind of thing by getting money from the colleges so uh, those kind of comments i am not interested so normally i won't recommend any private colleges but 
normally i will support actually the first thing actually i will support rel is a government college so government college actually for this course actually they are in government college there is no csbs course currently running might be so it will come in future based on the demand and everything but due to that actually many students are asking which colleges are available i mean having this csbs course so uh, i already told in government aided college yaharaja college is giving and then actually say uh, sri krishna engineering college uh, or sri krishna college of engineering rashi rajalakshmi college of engineering sairam college uh, sairam engineering college and rmk rmb and then sri chennai institute of technology and sri uh, banari amman institute of technology panimalar uh, college of engineering sri iswar engineering college so iswar engineering college in chennai i think and panimalar institute of technology sri raja rajalakshmi institute of technology and then we have uh, uh, veltech uh, right actually multi tech uh, uh, college of engineering sri uh, m kumaraswamy engineering college and then actually we have uh, psna uh, college dindigal so this college is i mean in, i mean as per uh, tn is considered actually we are these courses uh, these engineering colleges are having these courses and so uh, salary i can say in the uh, in the i mean actually in the in the it industry or in, uh, anything actually they will get uh, i mean if they are doing from the tier to college or something prior uh, self financing college they will get uh, 48 lakhs as a starting package and if they are doing in jahraja engineering college kind of thing and getting merit and also the salary depends on the types of industry and how big the industry you are joining right and uh, uh, returns of uh, i mean roa and everything matters your salary so what is a big company they will re- they are ready to give 15 lakhs also as a starting package that depends on uh, the merit how much uh, you scored how much you performed in the uh, campus interview how big is your industry you are joining so all this matters okay so now actually uh, now i am like to uh, go with the uh, syllabus okay they are asking many people are asking syllabus so syllabus in the sense in the semester 1 we are having discrete math discrete mathematics and then um, introductory uh, topics in statistics probability and uh, calculus and then business communication business communication these are the three theory oriented courses and when com- compared when coming to lab and theory oriented courses joint fundamental of computer science and then uh, principles of electrical engineering so you are doing electrical engineering also in this course so in this course you are uh, i mean you are studying about engineering and then actually uh, the management human values and then computer science and also the it enabled services also you are reading okay it's a uh, business systems and everything and then fundamentals of physics so these are the lab plus theory oriented courses in semester 1 and semester 2 uh, theory oriented means linear algebra fundamentals of uh, uh, electronics so you are studying about electrical and electronics also and then business communication and value science uh, so part 2 okay and lab uh, plus theory oriented courses means statistical modeling data structures and algorithm and then principles of uh, electronics so these three are Uh, related to lab plus uh, theory oriented courses and uh, in semester 2 we have mandatory course that is uh, fundamental environmental sciences that uh, that is taken as a non credit and in semester 3 we have theory courses object oriented programming computer statistics and then software engineering and mandatory courses say uh, indian constitution and freedom movement it's a non credit course actually why you are thinking actually why we are going to read uh, kind of uh, history students or uh, kind of political uh, science students right actually they will read indian constitution and freedom movement all these things but to know the human values human uh, uh, importance humanity we are uh, the, the, the course was structured like that so we are reading all the political science related things and everything and in semester 4 we have operational system concepts and database uh, technology and then software engineering uh, with uml and operational techniques okay organization optimization techniques okay 
and lab courses uh, kind of thing right then business communication values uh, value science uh, that is a uh, part 3 in that uh, semester 4 and then mandatory courses then actually we have uh, 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 i can say essence of indian traditional uh, knowledge there is a non credit course and then employability uh, enhancement concepts we have soft skills part 1 uh, paper is available so this is very good actually designed for the uh, suitability of uh, organ i mean i can say uh, industry oriented courses and everything right that is very important and in semester 5 we have fundamentals of management business strategy and design thinking these are the i can say uh, theory oriented and then lab plus theory oriented means analysis of algorithms and design and then compiler design uh, techniques and elective paper 1 okay in the lab plus theory in semester 5 and if you are coming to lab I mean when you are asking about lab right lab related means innovative um, projects uh, lab for computer sciences and business systems this is a lab courses and employability employability uh, enhancement uh, courses we have soft skills so that is also that is considered as for the employability enhancement courses and in semester 6 we have uh, i can say theory related thing means financial and cost accounting so this is a kind of financial management related and lab plus theory means computer network technology information security artificial intelligence and elective paper 2 so you can choose whatever elective you can choose there based on your interest whether you need uh, uh, engineering or software related or a kind of actually uh, the subject you prefer right business related also business management also you can choose and lab when you are thinking about lab we have business communication and value science uh, i can say uh, part 4 and then industrial projects okay and employability enhancement courses we have problem solving techniques this is very important and when you are going uh, going for sem- semester 7 we have principles of uh, financial management and essential uh, essential essentials of human resource management this can these are considered as a theory part and when coming to lab or theory courses we have usability design uh, software applications and second uh, thing actually it workshop third one elective third i mean third part third elective so you can choose here any computer science or management or whatever you like engineering related you can choose and then we have uh, in lab we have project evaluation in semester 7 and when considering for the semester 8 papers we have marketing research and marketing management considered as a managerial subject management subject and uh, service sciences and service operational management and then uh, these are uh, considered as a theory and lab plus theory uh, courses we have it project management that is what i told actually those who completed this business management i mean uh, computer science with business management can go as a project leader or a project manager or a business manager or a business and is whatever it means so because they are reading it project management and then we have elective 5 in that and then elective 6 also there I mean uh, in seventh semester under the lab and theory subject actually we have two elective courses elective 5 and elective 6 in addition to it project management when coming to pure lab we have project evaluation part second paper is available so these are uh, the i mean eight semester we are reading in the csbs uh, uh, courses so yeah, this is i mean how they are structured means the in each semester they are, they are planning to uh, i mean the students can undergo theory subject second thing theory plus lab combination third one i can say uh, employability operation i mean uh, i can say um, <coughs> employability enhancement and concepts we have uh, soft skills improvement subject i mean uh, subjects and then project evaluation project methodology it project management so we have actually uh, business strategy design thinking fundamentals of management uh, financial and cost management say actually uh, human resource management so in addition to that management we have 
கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் ஐ மீன் சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் லைக் சிசி ப்ளஸ் ப்ளஸ் ஜாவா சிக்னல் ப்ராசஸிங் வாட் எவர் இட் மே பி ஆக்சுவலி நார்மல் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் கேன் டூ அண்ட் ஆல்சோ தேர்ட் ஆக்சுவலி வி ஹாவ் அனலிட்டிக்ஸ் மிஷின் லேர்னிங் க்ளவுட் கம்ப்யூட்டிங் ஐஓடி அண்ட் பிளாக் செயின் எவ்ரி திங் தே ஆர் டூயிங் ஸோ திஸ் கோர்ஸ் இஸ் வெரி குட் ஆக்சுவலி பிகாஸ் யூ ஆர் லேர்னிங் இன் அடிஷன் டு இன்ஜினியரிங் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் வி ஹாவ் ஹியூமனிட்டிஸ் மேனேஜ்மெண்ட் சயின்சஸ் அண்ட் ஹியூமன் வேல்யூஸ் இன் அடிஷன் டு த கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் இன்ஜினியரிங் so this course actually it depends on your interest and everything so to my understanding in coming days this course will get a good opportunity and actually the, the students those who are uh, undertaking this course will get a good benefit so i have discussed about the course or syllabus structure which colleges are good what is the salary package so currently actually the government college is not having this course only self financing uh, government aided colleges like tagara tagara ja in tamil nadu and even other state also having lot of courses might be there because tc is having tie up with a different state related uh, i mean institutes and everything so and then we have software i mean uh, private uh, colleges having this uh, uh, course structures and everything so uh, i have described i mean uh, i mean and also when what about the job description in the sense what is the role means once a student studying that actually they can able to getting into software programming development and then actually it uh, um, uh, troubleshooting and maintenance for servers laptops desktops and everything and also they can go for uh, project management project uh, analy- i mean uh, business analyst business manager uh, uh, product managers uh, it project managers uh, project management everything right pmo and everything they can do and then actually they can do for actually say server maintenance and all these things and then actually they have uh, i mean they can even get into a uh, human re- I mean, human uh, relationship management hr also they can play in it industry with the management knowledges and everything and then actually they can uh, able to develop lot of apps if they want to uh, they are interested to know about uh, integration between uh, hardware and software that is firmware they can able to get into that they can able to get into embedded technology everything because they are reading uh, i mean uh, computer engineering and then actually the uh, software development everything and then they can uh, go for actually uh, the blockchain specialist cloud computing uh, technology uh, guys and then actually iot specialist and then actually they can go for uh, i can say uh, big data analytics and then artificial intelligence whatever it may be they can go for any field actually this is because they are learning uh, humanity management everything uh, financial management and then all the manage basic management uh, concepts business strategy and then marketing strategy everything they are reading in addition to engineering and also they are doing reading actually electrical and electronics in the first and second semesters that is also a good thing okay so i hope the details i have given i mean don't get confused choose this engineering as if you are getting a chance this is really good so you will uh, for on site career or I mean overseas career also this is good and also you can get actually easily uh, you can get into uh, overseas studies and you can also get into sap because uh, my favorite subject uh, so actually you can get into sap and become a sap consultant or a business manager business analyst or erp consultant scm consultant whatever you like you can able to work and also you can get into a product or a manufacturing company and uh, you can uh, work in both uh, it ka related and management related thing this is a really very good uh, course uh, so i hope the details i have given is very useful for you all students thanks for watching my videos thanks for the continuous support this is gb shokmar signing off thank you